Here are tonight's digital highlights. The last time these two teams met, West Virginia handed Texas a 56-49 loss, but Brady Sanders had other plans today. Brady Sanders was everywhere, inside, outside, hitting the jumper from the outside, getting the feed from Rodrigo. And when she wasn't doing that, she was taking the ball to the hole. Didn't get the end one there, but Brady Sanders was the offense for Texas in the first half. To the second half we go, and it was the NECA and Impali show. But before we get to that, Rhea Holmes, of course, keeping West Virginia close. And then, of course, Caldwell, the senior, doing what she does well, getting to the basket and lifting her team in the second half. It was more Holmes, though, getting the and one, keeping this one close. But then it was the NECA and Impali show. NECA took them inside. She took them down low. The junior from Pflugerville did everything Texas needed to do to pull out a win today, and they kept going there often. So smooth, so fresh, so clean. NECA and Impali everywhere for Texas. And then it was on the defensive end, huge block for NECA and Impali to give Texas another opportunity to pull this one out. NECA and Impali with 15 points, 21 rebounds to lift her team 66 to 63 and perfect at home in Big 12 play. NECA, you had two points at the half. Where did you find that switch to flip for the second half? Um, sometimes the ball just doesn't go in the hole. I just knew that I need to get out there and give energy and give effort and that the game would come to me. How do you describe that battle you saw inside? You told me yesterday you knew what this West Virginia team would bring with physicality inside. Um, the Big 12 is it's full of big girls, you know, inside plays, really aggressive, really physical, and I knew I had to go in there and match it. I couldn't play timid. A different ending in the second meeting with the Mountaineers. What made the difference in the win today? Hustle plays. I think last last time when we played them at West Virginia, they won all the hustle plays, and at home, we answered to them, and we fought back, and we got the hustle plays this time. If there was a hustle play that you won, take us through that defensive play. You know the one I'm talking about. Just a couple seconds before this game was over, underneath the rim on Asia Bus that sent you to the free throw line? Um, she's a big girl. She's really aggressive. I knew that I had to stay straight up and play principles, and that's what I did, and I came down with the rebound. 21 rebounds for you. What was the key for you getting to the boards? <laughs> Relentlessness. I knew that my job for this team is to rebound and be the aggressor, so that's what I tried to do tonight. What was the directive from Coach Aston with 20 seconds left on the clock? Um, she just said to play principles, don't give up a three, and... Um, just by principle, basically. <laughs> what did this team do today to define its identity, taking down a ranked opponent? We showed heart. We played together. We played selfless. Um, outside players hit open shots whenever they need to hit open shots. And the inside players rebounded and did what we had to do. And it was all around a great team effort. Thanks, Neka. Thank you. Coach Aston, today, first it was the men's team taking down a ranked opponent and then the women. What does this win do for you all? Well, it gives us uh, continued confidence that we can come back and, and get through some adversity and win a game. And uh, we're a young team that we're going to have ups and downs, and we've had that, but really proud of their performance today. In your first meeting with West Virginia, it was the hustle plays that frustrated mm -hmm. you because Texas lost them. What difference did those hustle plays make today? Oh, gosh, an enormous amount. And actually, we were we kind of count hustle plays. Stacey Stevens is in charge of that. And she told us at half we had won every four-minute game of hustle plays and possessions. And the first two four-minute games in the second half, we lost those. So, you know, we ha we try to focus on that. That way you get away from what the score is and try to focus on effort and, and execution. So I think down the stretch we probably won them, though. Particularly Brady Sanders, Nakia Jones. What did their play do for this team? Well, in the first half, they gave us a breath. Uh, you know, they gave us huge lift in the, in the first half, and then I thought NECA really, really took over down the stretch. But again, the guards' execution and their patience of getting the ball to NECA was better late in the game. How do you explain NECA's ability to flip that switch in the second half? <laughs> well, I think some of it is her trying to figure out Kaylee how to stay out of foul trouble. And, you know, I think it kind of clicked with her late in the game. I'm not in foul trouble for a change. <laughs> so she was able to turn that motor up a little bit where sometimes she has to be careful. And I think that that works on her mentally some. A win for this team without Imani Miki Stafford on the court. What message did that send to her and to this team? Well, I think it's, it's that it's all about the team. And I think that's the, what we're trying to instill in this program and instill in our young people is that it's, it's about the team. It's not about you. And I, I think the message hopefully was sent. But, uh, again, we talked before the game about this being about them playing for each other and about it being about the team. And the team improves in Big 12 play. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.